David Clark is a UFO consultant to the National Archives. He joins us now from central London. Good morning to you. What a great job title you have got. It's a source of constant fascination for people, isn't it? What do these documents tell us? Is there other life out there? Well, they don't actually tell us anything about um, aliens or life out there, but what they do tell us is, is some very, very strange things that people see in the sky and, and have been reporting ever since the 1950s. And also quite a surprise to some people is that the government actually employed somebody to log these sightings. And why is it that the MOD have released these files? I know you've been campaigning for some time for them to be out in the open. There's always been quite a lot of secrecy around this, hasn't there? Yeah, I mean, the, the popular idea is that, well, some people believe that uh, the government uh, know that we're being visited by aliens and for some bizarre reason have decided not to tell the rest of us about it. I've, I read all those stories, I watched the X-Files, and when the Freedom of Information Act came along in 1997, I thought, right, now is a good opportunity to actually find out what's really going on. I, I'd never believed at that time that so much material would emerge. I mean, there's something in the order of 50,000 pages, almost 200 files that have now been released to the public. It's, it's a great victory for freedom of information. So doesn't that make you think, with all that information of people having seen UFOs, that there's got to be something in it? Well, there is something in it, in that unidentified flying objects are mysterious and that's why the uh, the Ministry of Defence was interested in them particularly during the early period after the Second World War if you were um, military personnel if somebody had seen something unexplained on radar that could have been um, an enemy aircraft you know it could be the Russians and that explains why the Ministry got involved in this subject at that early stage later on it became more and more of a public relations exercise really to reassure people who'd seen something odd in the sky and had been frightened about what they'd seen so the interesting thing is that, as you're saying, there's been government briefings taking place on this subject for many years now. That's right. Every new prime minister receives a very full post bag from people who believe uh, something is being concealed on the subject, saying, you know, now is the time to, to tell the truth. But the truth has actually been, uh, has been, been released over and over and over again. It's just that some people won't accept the truth, which is that a lot of these things are seen in the sky. Most of them can be explained, and there are some that remain puzzling and unidentified. But unidentified simply means that. It doesn't mean alien spacecraft.